Welcome to another Control Hobbies video tutorial. This video will show you how to use the Hot Firmware Update utility, so you can update your Grapner receivers, speed controllers, gyro receivers and telemetry modules. The Firmware Update utility is a smaller version of the Firmware Upgrade Studio with the benefit that it will automatically detect the connected product you are trying to update. It will also run on an Apple computer. An installation of Java is required for the firmware update utility to work. Check the links on this video page for additional information. Before you start the firmware update utility, you will need to connect the USB update board that came with your radio to your computer. After launching the firmware update utility verify that the COM port is active. The following receiver update procedure is applicable for the following Grapner receivers. GR4, GR8, GR12, GR16, GR24, and GR32. This also includes all the L variants, such as the GR12L and GR24L receivers. Prepare the receiver by inserting the two-wire update connector, marked orange and brown from the USB board to the receiver update port. On the GR4 and GR8 receiver the update port is on channel 3. For the GR12 receiver, as well as any other 6-channel receiver you will be using channel 5. The GR16, GR24, and GR32 the update cable goes into the telemetry port marked with the letter T. You will also need a power source such as a receiver battery during the update. Now let's start with updating our receiver. Start the firmware updater and verify that the COM port is selected. At this point, you can either download the firmware directly by selecting your receiver model from the pull-down list, or use the auto-detect function. We do recommend the auto-detect function to avoid any potential mistakes. First, connect the update cable to the receiver update port. Click on the auto-detect button which brings up a message dialog. Press the set button and keep it pressed while powering your receiver. The drop-down will show the receiver type detected. In our case, a GR24L was found. You can now download the firmware by clicking on the Auto Download button. If there are multiple firmware versions available, you will have to select the one you need. After the firmware has been downloaded, you can click on the Start Update button, which will bring up a confirmation dialog. Click OK to continue. The firmware is now being updated on your receiver. When finished, a message dialog will notify you that the update was successful. This concludes the Grapner Hot Receiver update. Next, we will show you how to update the Grapner Gyro Receivers. Gyro Receiver Update The following receiver update procedures are applicable for the following Grapner Gyro Receivers. GR12, GR18, GR24 and Falcon Receivers. For the GR12 receiver, as well as any other 6-channel receiver you will be using channel 5. The GR18 and GR24 the update cable goes into the telemetry port marked with the letter T. You will also need a power source such as a receiver battery during the update. Now let's start with updating our receiver. Start the firmware updater and verify that the COM port is selected. At this point, you can either download the firmware directly by selecting your receiver model from the pull-down list, or use the auto-detect function. We do recommend the auto-detect function to avoid any potential mistakes. First, connect the update cable to the receiver update port. Click on the auto-detect button which brings up a message dialog. With the gyro receivers you do not need to press the set button so just power the receiver. The drop-down will show the receiver type detected. In our case, a Falcon 12 Plus was found. You can now download the firmware by clicking on the Auto Download button. If there are multiple firmware versions available, you will have to select the one you need. After the firmware has been downloaded, you can click on the Start Update button. At this point, the updater expects you to power cycle the receiver by switching it off and on again. The firmware is now being updated on your receiver. When finished, a message dialog will notify you that the update was successful. This concludes the Grapner Hot Gyro Receiver Update Tutorial. If you need to update a Grapner Speed Controller or Telemetry Module, 
Check for those videos on our website at the product page. Thank you for watching and if you need additional support, you can contact us at controlhobbies.com.